Hello all, I am Siddharth studying in Gokraj Rangaraj Engineering College, CSE department and this video is regarding our mini project. Me along with the other teammates develop an Android application which provides location services. Right now I am going to explain briefly about a project, so let's get started. We used Eclipse for our app development and these are the files regarding our project, Java and the XML files as we scroll down you can see the xml files xml is used to design the user interface the png file stored in raw Apple HDPI, and these files are the image files which we used in our application the raw folder basically consists of the media we used a beep sound for the buttons and our project is embedded with google maps and location services the latitude and the longitude regarding your position is displayed and you can see your position on the map itself so let's just open the GPS activity dot XML right now this XML file is used to display the map to the user let's go to the code part and as you can see the arrow points to an API key and this key has to be obtained from Google in order to access the maps so go to android.go.developer.com and you can find certain steps described in that site which would help you to get that API key. Let's open the emulator and let's open the application. You can see the home screen of our application. We added a we added small animation on the home screen. Let's enter the app right now. You can see that this is the menu screen and it forms the backbone of our application, contains all the features. And these are the maps. You have the controls to zoom in and zoom out of the map. These zoom controls are basically a part of the Google API package you can type in some simple code and you can get them on the map it's quite simple zoom in and as you zoom in you can find the street view and you also get the traffic updates from time to time These are all the satellite images. As you zoom in more, you can find everything in detail. Now let's just go back to the menu screen. And now in order to get the location, we need to use the Where Am I feature in this application and since this is just an emulator and not a mobile phone it will not have a GPS sensor so we'll have to feed it with a fake longitude and latitude and I have a predetermined set of both latitude and longitude let's just send it and when you get back to the emulator and when you press the where am I button you can see the corresponding location depending on the latitude and longitude which we have provided on the top you can see the latitude and longitude and it will also show the map corresponding to the location let's try a different latitude and longitude let's go back let's go to the emulator control copy and paste a different set of latitude and longitudes let's just send it to the emulator and when we get back to the emulator we can see that the position has changed and the location now is somewhere in South Africa and you can see a text saying here am I 
as the arrow points to it. Now let's get to the forceometer. It is a simple tool used to calculate the gravitational force. It actually sums the acceleration in all three directions and compares it to the value in free fall. But since the emulator does not have any GPS sensor, it cannot work on an emulator. It can only run on a mobile phone. The emergency SMS forms an important part of this application. But in order to understand it, let's get back to the coding part. Let's open the strings.xml and you can see that there is a query string. Are you okay? It can be anything, it can be any text, it can be are you safe or it can be are you okay. The importance of this query string is that whenever a user sends you a text message with this query string, his contact will be updated in our application. And if multiple users send this query string as a text message, then all their contacts will be updated in our query string. And once the contacts are updated, you can reply to them at once. Let's now get back to the emulator. Let's open the emergency SMS feature. You can see that there is a black space. It is nothing but an array list and it will update itself with the contacts when they send you a text message with that particular query string. And while replying you can transmit your location in the SMS itself. The latitude and longitudes will be displayed. But the most important feature in this emergency SMS is that you can use a autoresponder. But first just let's let manually send an SMS. I have two emulators open right now and I'm going to send a message from this emulator to the other emulator. In order to send a SMS, the port number of the emulator forms the phone number. So you have to type 5554 and as we have the query string as are you ok, let's type are you ok in the text message and let's see what happens. You can see that the contact has been updated and the message has been received. Now like this you can have multiple number of contacts in this space and you can reply to all of them at once by saying if you are safe or you are in danger. You have two buttons for that, I am safe and I am in danger. You can even transmit your location along with the SMS and I press the I am safe button and you can see that the message has been received. Let's open it. Now, one might think that what is the use of this application since we can manually type in the text and we can send it. But we also have an auto responder. We also have an auto responder button over here. Let's just open the auto responder feature. You can see that you can give a text in the respond with text box and this text will be sent automatically to whichever SMS comes with the query string are you ok you can also transmit the location and you can also set time let's set it as 15 minutes so for the next 15 minutes it will reply to the text messages on its own Let's send a text message with a query string. Are you okay? And you can see that it has replied on its own. Let's open the message. Help required. This was the text which we entered in the text box. 
so in this way whenever you are in danger and uh, whenever you are in a position that you cannot reply to a message you can set up the auto responder and it will transmit the location along with the message which you have typed in the checkbox let's disable it for now we also have a compass incorporated and since the emulator does not have any sensors it would not work in an emulator it would definitely work in a mobile device the reason for using a compass is that you might sometimes be in a remote location where you might not find any 3G service or GPS service it can be useful at that time the last feature in this application is the to-do list it's a simple feature which contains a list of things which you would have updated in order to add an activity just press the menu button and press the add new item button and you can see a text box has appeared and you can enter the text in the text box in this way you can enter multiple number of texts and activities which you have to perform and it will store all the activities which you have entered you can also delete any activity you want by just clicking on them and then clicking on the remove item button so this is just a simple application and by this I conclude the application which we have designed and all the features have been shown so thank you for listening